Welcome to China and welcome to a business meeting with Chris, our R and D engineer. Something for you. The new parts have been fitted for the car. The simulation numbers are good, so look forward to your feedback. Check out the details. So yeah, p new part has been fitted to the car that we uh, put on the car last episode. You can see the new part downforce 1.8 uh, degrees of downforce extra. So yeah, let's get in and do this practice qual pra practice qual practice session there. There you can see we're absolutely trouncing our rival, absolutely stuffing Jensen Button. Um, yeah, there you can see us on the performance table just ahead of Tara also and just behind um, what's the other team? Can't mind but uh, there you can see the audio is all screwed up and everything. I, I can't get that this fixed for some reason so yeah I'll let Crofty talk and I will talk to you First up is today's later. Practice session. A warm welcome once again to the man standing beside me in the commentary box for this session, Anthony Davidson. Hello, and excited to get on the way? Yeah, absolutely. I always look forward to seeing the cars get out there on track. Uh, they probably won't be on the limit immediately, of course. Uh, we know that one or two of the teams are looking to do some work on new aerodynamic packages, so that always takes some time to get into. But it'll be really interesting to see later on in the session what kind of performance gains are there to be found. So yeah, here we are in the in the garage of the McLaren pit. So thank you, Chris. So we're going to do the track climatization program and the the tire the tire test in this video or in this practice session. So there, come run to the line. There you can see almost perfect lap, four um green, which is pretty good. Come run to the line another lap with about six greens, I think. Or run to the line, open DRS, run to the line, another purple lap time. So pretty good then. So um yeah, third lap. Come to the final corner, hitting all of them. Purple final corner. Open the arrows. Purple. Run to the line, and it's another purple score. There you can see we 480 or 485 out of. I can't see it, but uh, I think it's 405 out of 480, 425. So we missed out in 25 points there, which is pretty good. So yeah, let's do the tire management test and uh, see how we get on. So yeah, come to the end of the first lap, there you can see we're way up, we're over, over a second up. Now, a bit of a corner cut there, we're in the green though. But we really should have been in the purple, because if you looked at that before, went through the final corner, it was already in the purple, so yeah, the final corner took a lot of tire work. So now, on the second lap, uh, really in the red there, we'll get five points for it. So, uh, really not a good lap there. We'll come to the end of our third one, this one was purple, bit of a corner cut, run wide. Lovely track extension in the purple, so now it's 30, so we only need another 5 points. So yeah, come to the final corner, on the final lap of the track, or the tower test, we get a green sector, which means we passed it by 5 points, 40 out of 60. So yeah, now let's return to the garage and uh, see how it is. So there you can see, um... Pretty good. There's the data. If you want, if you want to pause the video and look over it, you can. But um, I think we are going to go in and do the pra uh, qualifying pace. No, I'm just going to skip the end of the session, and um, I think I'll do the qualifying pace in sector, sector, and practice two. So then, uh, practice two is not a waste, like I um, like I done in Bahrain. Just done everything in practice one and then just skip the qualifying. So there you go, 8th place at the end of uh, practice one. Only doing the track, track acclimatization and the tower test. So re really not as fast as we can go like. So there you can see our resource points. Ow, just hit my hand off my desk. There you can see resource points, 173. So yeah, let's go to practice two and do the tower work. Tower to qualify and run. Jeez, I'm getting up my, my words mixed up. So, yeah, once we do, do this here, we'll probably end the session and skip the qualifying. So, yeah, come to the end of the lap. Bit of a corner cut there, bit of an extension. Lose the back end though, and we come across the line and um, they're 142 dead, I think. So, yeah, pretty good lap. So, now I think we'll just skip the end of the session and end it there. Because it's basically all I'm going to do because we've done it there. We've got a perfect score, which is pretty good. 
So now we'll just watch Jensen Button for a while. And then we will skip the end of the session and see watch the, watch the telemetry and all. So yeah, 20 minutes to go. Um, Nico Rosberg set a time 42.3, which is uh, th three tenths lower than our lap time. We done a 40 dead, which 42 dead, which is pretty good lap time, if I do say so myself. I don't think it could get more out of the car if it's side without crashing. So you can see Rosberg, Raikkonen, and Kvyat, top and Sainz top five. So you can see with five minutes to go, we are topping the session. So now, um, there you can see Rosberg, purple second sector as uh, Grosjean has pop popped up to fourth place. Purple sec first, us second. At the end of the session, then here are your top three. And McLaren, Rosberg, and Kimi Raikkonen. That's it for practice then. We'll see you again soon. Yeah, thanks Crafty for that there. So now we will go in or we will go over our resource points and um you can see so pretty good all round session for us or for me like so yeah let's get in and skip to the qualifying. And skip state the qualifying. So yeah, let's see how we get on and qualifying. An interesting practice session there then. Let's so you can see Rosberg, Raikkonen and Hamilton, Ro top three, which is um, almost standard. So now I'll just go over the resource points again. So we get a further 10. So we're now on 258 resource points. So yeah, so pretty good. Uh, practice sessions for us, and now we'll listen to our Hi. agent. Just letting you know that we've had the team's expectations through for the upcoming qualifying session. So yeah, qualify 12th or above on beat Jensen Button, which shouldn't be too hard to do, as we have beat him in every single race this season. So yeah, pretty, pretty easy. Not really struggling with that challenge. So you can see we're absolutely trouncing him there, 27 to 9. And now let's get into the crucial qualifying session for the Chinese Grand Prix. We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximizing top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? The teams will have arrived with all manner of parts designed to capitalize on the long straights. The cars will be that much harder to drive in the corners, but everyone will be in the same boat. Yeah, so now here we are in the garage for, for qualifying. We go straight out on the track and see what sort of lap time we do. So we'll skip right on the end of the lap time. Massive, massive, massive corner cut there. Massive extension. And they come up the line and we do... We do 42... Zero, I think it is. But uh, yeah, there's still time to find it, as you can see there. There we go, come to the line, we do a... 41-3 I think it is so yeah I, I think we'll retire on that note because we lost too much time so yeah now I think we'll just skip on to the race as we've done our qualifying and uh, we're up in fourth at the minute which is quite good for McLaren which is excellent in fact for McLaren so we qualify 11th just outside the top 10 which is uh, uh, which is okay we're still past the team objective which was 13th I don't know if we beat Jensen Button or not, I think he was up in 6th or something, or, no he was up in 13th, so yeah we did beat him, which is pretty good. There you can see we we have won the rivalry, so yeah, so there we go, won the, won the rivalry, so now we'll, now the team will um, give us a new rival. Oh no, we didn't beat him, so yeah, our position is very secure, so now let's listen to the voicemail for our race targets. Hi. Um, finished twelfth or above and beat Jansen Button. Also finished tenth for the for the constructors ob objective. So yeah, let's go to the race then.
Oh, it's raining. Work, it's raining. That will make the race very interesting. Over there to our southeast, and we've got plenty of that here on the grid as well. Twenty thousand horsepower, give or take, chomping at the bit to be unleashed for the Chinese Grand Prix. Shanghai International Circuit then, a 16-corner high-speed thrill ride. The long and ever-tightening right-hander at turns one and two tests the driver's patience, and the flat, open to the elements location, tests their skill and a crosswind. Two DRS zones will assist passing, and overtaking is available into turn one, and of course, down the kilometre-long back straight into the hairpin at turn 14. Joining me once again to take you through this race is the effervescent Anthony Davidson, and I'm very much looking forward to it getting underway. You raced here, of course, didn't you, back in your Super Aguri days in that infamous Chinese Grand Prix of 2007? Yeah, that's right. I didn't last that long, though, unfortunately. Uh, qualifying had gone pretty well, but the brakes failed quite early in the race, around lap 10 or 11, something like that. And, of course, back in 2004, I was the very first Formula 1 driver to complete a lap of this circuit. Just thought I'd mention that for you probably like a good stat. Uh, it's a fairly tough circuit on the brakes here, though. You know, there's that long back straight down into turn 14, and then you've got turn 6 and 11. They're quite heavy as well. On top of that, managing your front tyre wear is always a challenge around here, so there's a lot to keep in mind during the Grand Prix. So yeah, now we are in the car, on the grid, and we are... No, we're not going to look at it. So yeah, let's... Now we're sitting on the grid. We're looking at a race strategy. We can either do a one-stop or two-stop. It would be stupid to do a one-stop. Or two-stop, sorry. So we'll just do it. Favourite lights. Lights are out in the way we go. Dump the clutch and away we go. And it's a pretty good start. Pretty good start. We got Kvyat and we got um, Jensen Button. And we've got down the inside of a few cars, up in the sixth place, now round the outside, and we go way off the track, and we lose a bunch of, well, we we'll lose two positions. Now we're on the inside of Ricciardo, which we do get him quite easily. Pushing for Stappen, now we lose a load of positions. A lot of, a lot of positions. Getting plenty, plenty of oversteer in the exit. So now on the... The middle sector in lap one, we just simply outdrive for stopping, outbreak him into um, turn whatever it is, I don't know, but middle sector. So now we get past him up in the sixth place, and now Science is ahead of us. We get him on the end of the braking zone, as you can see, he locked up as well, which is um, we get him up in the fifth position, which in turn shouldn't be there, but we are there. So now on the end of lap two. We run wide, get so much oversteer, and um, yeah, couldn't get on the bar on now um, Science and uh, another car is trying to get us. It is for stopping, but we we go down round the outside, but we do go off on Science as well. We do touch side pods with him, which uh, forces us off the track, and we lose a heap of time side by side with Jensen Button. Eric Bullier won't like that there. We touch, made contact. So yeah, now we pick up the throttle now, very late, or very, uh, yeah, huge oversteer. Will we get uh, for us in the braking zone? We break nice and late, we don't make contact, pretty nice overtake. Get on the throttle nice and early, get plenty of wheel spin, run them out of the road, and yeah, job done. So now on the lap 4, um, will we get Saints in the turn 5, I think it is. Yes, we do. We dive it down to the side. And, um, job done, basically. So, yeah, get in the power nice and early, squeeze them out of the road, and job done. So now getting loads of oversteer. Loads of oversteer in this hateful, hateful corner, which is so hard to get in the throttle. Still struggling. We go way off, and Bersabin gets past us. And now, um, Science flies past us as well. I think it's a Williams. No, it's a uh, Ricciardo. And uh, we dive down his inside, and do we make a triple overtake into the? We make a triple overtake into the chicane, which yeah, was pretty good. We get a lot of wheel spin, which sends us way wide, and then Massa hit, our Bottas hits us for good measure, which sends us over. 
this was this must have been a glitch here. You see the virtual safety car came out. The AI just slowed way down, just stopped, and I overtook Kvyat, Jason is to the which uh, I don't know. That might have been a glitch or something. But um, virtual safety car is in. We go up the inside of stopping just as it ends, so we had to return the position. But we do get him. We outdrive him. We get very, very close to touching. I know he's there. That's why we run way off, way wide, and then get back under this in line. And uh, yeah, job done. So now on the back of science and lap seven, halfway through this race already, it's getting, it's very exciting. So getting a lot of, a lot of oversteer. That was the problem in this race. A lot of oversteer. Dive down his inside into the her into turn five. Yeah, and we do. There you can see his amp played very, very close to us. But uh, yeah, quite nice overtake, even if I do say so myself. So now on lap eight, getting understeer, oversteer, sorry, oversteer again. More oversteer, more oversteer. We had to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. We couldn't get on the throttle, so um, yeah, science flies past us. I think there's a uh, Ricardo as well, I think. But we get Science into the bracket zone. We are bro we are broke ourselves, but um, Science gets past us. So does Verstappen, and now um, Ricardo's on the back of us as well. So yeah, we lose a heap of time into the hairpin as we outbreak ourselves and a couple of positions. Nice corner cut there, Rand. Um, so yeah, now Science is ahead of us. Um, we're in the slipstream. Can we get him in turn one? No, we don't. We stay behind him. But do we go up his inside because they are very slow in the second part of this year? Yes, we do. So yeah, now that's done. Now it is. We're stopping ahead of us for P6. And um, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I think it's stop, uh, stopping. Uh, stop, stopping raining. I can't speak tonight or today. As you can see, there are more oversteer. A bit more oversteer. But uh, will we get for stopping in the turn 5 again? Turn 5 is a favourite uh, overtaking spot for us, just outbreaking the AI. Nice move. Um, yeah, I think it is stopping. Yeah, there you, there you can hear from the engineer the track is dying out. The rain has stopped. And um, yeah, a couple of laps later, there you can see the track is almost dry. So we are going to take a chance, take a gamble, and go on the dry tyres. So um, yeah, we basically. I have nothing to lose apart from a couple of points. P5. Coming very, very slow and very cautiously into the pit lane, but um yeah we do get in there without any without a penalty or anything. So yeah, we're going on to super soft tires and we're going to take in the end. Well, obviously take them to the end with two laps to go there. So we're coming in, uh, we get an okay pit stop, two point eight I think it is. We're in eleventh place. Coming out and getting squirming on the exit there, trying to get in the power. As you can see, Ericsson is behind us. We, we um, take our, we put our fuel up the ridge. We run wide, and Ericsson gets us up the inside. But we get him down the inside, hitting him, hitting him for good measure as well. And now you can see as I look behind me, two cybers, two cybers are bottling. If I do look behind me, yeah, I do two cybers are bottling. Now we have Esteban Gutierrez on the last lap for one point in this Grand Prix, so we went from P5 to P11, maybe to P10. As we dive it up his inside, break it 150 meter board, don't overshoot the exit, or don't overshoot the corner, sorry. And um, yeah, that's P10 then. So yeah, coming round the final corner, and we finished P10, so we lost, um, I think it was 10 points, we the only game one point. Or we only get one point in this Grand Prix. We don't actually, we finish 11th. Well, how's that possible? I finished 10th. There's Toto Wolf celebrating. How's that possible? I finished in, I finished inside the top 11, or top 10, sorry. Well, we'll see now in the race director deck. So, yeah, we'll find out. Just 
So yeah, here's the podium. And um, yeah, we'll look at the result after. So you can see Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg and Sebastian Vettel on the podium. Uh, I would like a podium before the end of the season. That's my target. It may be a bit ambitious, but I don't know. But it would be, seem like a fair enough target. So yeah, let's look at the race well, director. The or not race director. Oh, we've got a penalty, that's why. Two second time penalty. Don't know what that's for, but um... Well, we'll finish where we're qualified. It was a pretty good race up until that. I had the pit. Yeah, I had the pit and we had to lose that time. I had to. Or else we were going to lose too, too much time on the enter, enters on an ever changing track. So there we go. There's our resource points. There is our. There. Now we're on 379. Do we have enough to upgrade the car? I think we do. I think we have enough to upgrade fuel efficiency, but I think I'll wait because. um. But I didn't really have a, a problem with the fuel efficiency. So yeah. There's our career score. So yeah. That has been this video for today. Until my next one. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.